Peace and blessings, everybody. I'm Marcus Anthony, and this is Marcus Anthony Table. So I hope everybody out there is taking care of themselves. Each organization is paramount in your success and learning how to move in your kitchen from day to day. One of the things that I like to do is, after I've went into the refrigerator, pulled things out, um, cleaned out the fridge, cleaned out the freezer, got those things that are, you know, left over from Thanksgiving that you might not have remembered or might be buried way underneath, you know, holiday times and things like that that you thought you would get to and you didn't and now it's completely freezer burned or just no good and you can use some fresh. Take it out, get rid of it and then, you know, I one of the kitchen solutions that I use is vinegar water solution in a spray bottle like this. Pick it up from you know, your local construction store, your local hardware store, what have you. And this is one part vinegar to four parts water. And I clean the whole entire kitchen with this because not only is it natural, um, it's just an all around cleaner. I don't mind and I, I prefer to use a cleaner like this in the kitchen because it's not as if I'm cleaning the you know, bathroom with it. But in the kitchen, I want something as natural as possible, and, and this covers it. So, yeah, get in your kitchen, get in your refrigerator, wipe everything out, and then put everything back, and then you could see what, what you have. Um, you wipe your jar, and this also is good for wiping your jars off, like your mustard jars, your mayonnaise, your ketchup. You know, you, you might squeeze your ketchup, and then you touch it with your hands, and all of a sudden you have ketchup stains on your ketchup bottle, which is befitting, especially if you have the little ones running around or what have you, and these things tend to happen. This is a perfect solution to be able to just wipe all your bottles down, um, get clean, you know? Make sure you could, uh, you know, bacteria and things aren't, you don't have a breeding ground for bacteria and the likes of that. So, the next thing that I like to do in the kitchen is once I'm done with the refrigerator or what have you, then I move on to the cabinets. And the cabinets always need a good overhaul too because your cabinets, especially your spice cabinets, your pantries, those tend to be high traffic areas. And a lot of times you don't know what you have there unless you're really organized. So let me show you my cabinet and then maybe this might give you an idea of what to do in yours, and this is what I recommend. So, as you see here, I my cabinet, it's, it's pretty organized, and I like to keep it this way because it lets me know what I have and what I don't. So, when I'm ready for, you know, you, you, whatever it is that you're choosing to cook with, you know, you can just go ahead and grab it, and I know that, you know, I have, you know, bay leaf for, I know that I have, you know, cumin and it also allows me to buy in bulk which saves a ton of money because now instead of buying one little jar of something for a few dollars or four or five dollars I can go online and buy it in bulk for you know two or three times the price but I'll have 20 times as much as I would have gotten you know had I bought it retail at the supermarket so that's another thing that I like to do. So as you can see on these, these are these plastic jars are from a local store, um, very cheap, very reasonable, and I bring them home and then I use one of these bad boys right here, trusty P-Touch, to make a label. And I use this because, you know, I don't think that I like my handwriting that much that I want to open my cabinets and always see my handwriting on it. I tend to scribble a little bit, but... Um, if you do have nice handwriting you don't, and you, or you don't mind that and you can't get to the store or you just don't want to do that, you know, there's always blue tape or any color tape that you like, a Sharpie, and even if you don't go to the store and see those, you can always use these, you know, these are the soup containers that you normally get from the Chinese store, but I go to a restaurant supply or what have you and buy these in bulk and always have them around. And these things actually make the cooking process and make being in your kitchen a lot more enjoyable because you're free from clutter so you can create and you can allow 
inspiration to come in because you're not hindered by, you know, or distracted by what's going on and what you don't have and things being in your way. So it's kind of like a, a feng shui method for your household and for your kitchen. So that's how I tend to do my kitchen. And I would suggest, you know, taking the time out right now to give your kitchen an overhaul. Uh, I'll show you another area that is pretty organized and it helps a lot. Uh, come follow me over here. So here we have supplement drawer, which, yeah, having things laid out in these small containers that I probably got from a container store or something like that, and I just kind of take all the supplements and put them here and lay them out allows me to not have to dig through a cabinet or shut, you know, shut a cabinet door. I mean, this counts as in my trajectory every single day. So as I can walk over here, open her up, see what I have, take my supplements, put them back, and, um, you know, I know what I need from day to day is, you know, what, what I can take. And it's just, yeah, the, it makes life so much easier. That and underneath the blender, when I'm ready to make a shake, you pull your blender out. The top is in the dishwasher at this point. But I open a drawer, and in the drawer I have all of the supplements. So if I'm going for a protein shake that day, I keep this in a larger container, but then I take all of the other supplements that may come in bags like this. I store the over, you know, I store the bulk bags in the back, but I put them in mason jars with the cap and I label them with the pizza. Just makes things a lot more organized. And again, it's just a path of least resistance approach to your wellness. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see y'all next time. If you like what you see, stay tuned for more videos, hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel so that you know when, you know, new videos pop up and yeah, take care. Peace and blessings to you all. Stay safe, wash your hands and I'll see you next time.